All right, so building a funnel and designing a beautiful funnel can be pretty overwhelming. And whether you're a funnel agency and you have a new client with high expectations coming to you, paying you thousands of dollars, and they expect you to build something that's unique, that's beautiful, or if you have a service or a product that you wanna sell through your own sales funnels, I know the feeling that you're probably experiencing. You're opening your laptop, your desktop, and you're sitting there, you're staring at your screen, and you're thinking, how am I gonna get anything done? Where do I even start? And so in this video, I'm not only gonna share with you my secret for finding inspiration, but I'm gonna show you how to find hundreds, if not thousands of templates that you can use. And it's not inside of ClickFunnels, so it's not, I'll show you, it's kind of special and it's something that I've been using for a very long time. So you can see a funnel that I built for a software company, right? So first what we'll do is we'll take a look at the structure a little bit, and then I'll share with you the secret site that I've been using, kind of two different tools that I use to make this uh, happen as I build these funnels. So number one, uh, this is a client funnel that I built. Again, we take a look at the structure and now we dive into kind of where I found inspiration for this one and for many more. So the secret sauce is UI8.net. And before you click off, if you've already seen me talk about this in other videos, Make sure you watch to the end because I'm gonna actually download one of these and show you how I implement different sections from each of them to create a unique experience for a client. So first thing we'll do is we'll go to browse and we're gonna go to for Figma because Figma is free, it's on the cloud and so anyone can use it no matter if you have Windows or Mac. And then what we're gonna type in is well, we'll go to web first and we'll see if we find something we like there. But let's say that we want to build a funnel for a software company. Then I can go to search and just type in SaaS. You can see Figma is marked there. And so now we can just scroll down and there we go. SaaS landing page. I'll click download, direct download. Because I already have the all access pass, it'll let me download five of these per day, which is enough. <laughs> Uh, I then go into Figma, I just, well, first I gotta unzip it. And then once I have it, dot fig, I'm just gonna drag it in there and it's gonna import. So now what it's doing is allowing me to sort of break down the file, the landing pages into different images, elements, and I can drag those and sort of start puzzling together my own unique design. So we'll open another one here, just kind of show you another example where I've done this. If I zoom out, you can see there's a lot of landing pages, right? So I can start here to the left, just gonna zoom in a little bit, and I can start looking at a specific design that I like. So for this one, would you say when I build something like this, that I would go with um, this one? Probably not, it, it's not the right design, but I could, what I could use is something like this section. Headline here, so this is a two column row, headline, subheadline, and then one, two, three, three steps and the boxes. So pretty clean. This thing right here, I could use this where I have some numbers for credibility, right? But then probably not the right design when it comes to the actual style and the personality that we give to the, the design. Then we go to the next one. This one looks more like a software, but it's not, this most looks more corporate and it's not what we're looking for, but again, we might do something like this, where we have headline, subheadline, and a screenshot of the UI, the dashboard. And then we take a look at this right here. So headline, subheadline, button, and then the signs from kind of how the platform works. We'll go into this one and see, we've got a screenshot, we got a GIF and images of what this is, and we explain it kind of in a similar way. Text, image, image, text, text image so it's easy to consume rather than just having like some people have like a bunch of text and your sites and funnels they start looking more like a blog post it's not what you want so again we could take this if we're talking about different companies they use us or we can talk about different communities all over the world we can have graphics that sort of mimics the style of it but we change out the images to communicate what we're trying to say so go to the next one for testimonials, we could do something like this if we wanted to, and we would go in here and we add videos, which is a pop-up element with like an image, 
and then we have a video they can click it and it's gonna start playing and so uh, i'm sure you start getting the point here what i'm trying to say and uh maybe you're getting some ideas for what you could do as well but the main thing is you start with uh, UI 8 or a similar platform. I don't have a partnership or anything with UI, which maybe I should, but uh, there's, I'm sure there's a lot of other amazing sites like this as well. The second thing is I like to use this as well, the 3D assets feature. And uh, let's see if we have, if we find the one that I've been using recently. Yeah, there it is. So this one, if you take a look at it, we got SEO and marketing 3D icon set. And what you can do is download these as PNGs. You can download them as a Figma file, which is exactly what I have done. And what you can do then in, in a lot of these is you can customize them inside of Figma. So you can see, you can see actually which ones I've customized. This one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, and this one. Where have I used these? In the inner circle funnel, right? But if I had uploaded the 3D icons and graphics just as they are, it wouldn't match this theme, right? Which if you watched the other YouTube video, you saw me kind of build out some of this and explain what it is. But that's the main thing that's gonna help you build better funnels and get more inspiration is first you take a look at something like this. Okay, let's see, it's uh, already uploaded. So now we're gonna open it and we're going to start looking at different outlines. So we got a homepage here for this software. I don't generally wanna build a website, so I don't wanna use just everything they have. So I would then look at, okay, I wanna use some inspiration from here, maybe of the patterns in the uh, background of this image. So then I can double click until I see that, or an image like this, or how they created these icons, which is basically just this graphic right here, or icon together with a circle that has a stroke on the outside. All right, and so if you wanted to change anything, you could do that and then export it as an image into the platform they're using to build your funnels. Me, you know, click funnels. That's kind of how I look at it. I don't take everything from one place. I go around and I look, as you saw here, I would just keep moving, okay? This doesn't make sense for this funnel. This is kind of a cool way to share testimonials and social proof because it's like tweets instead of just having like screenshots. This is an easy way to explain how this works and, and uh, have people intrigued to check it out more. Maybe get a free account. So you can see here, call to action, 14 day free trial. I would just go through this, download more of these. And then once I find, find some of them, I, I can also obviously check the font and everything and see, okay, this is Mossard. And I can either Google it, try to buy it or download it for free or find an alternative, which this looks a little bit like a Gilroy. So anyways, hopefully that's helpful. I know it's a short video, but I'm, I'm gonna try to do more of these sort of little secrets and hacks that most people don't know because maybe they haven't built as many funnels as I have. And you just kind of like see these things as you do them and test out different platforms and, and uh, graphics, the libraries and everything. So hope it's valuable. If you wanna learn more how we do this, I obviously have hundreds of videos uh, in my course called Full-Time Funnel Designer. We have 400 people now in there doing this, building funnels. I actually saw someone post yesterday that uh, they joined, they got their first free client within 24 hours. So I'll put a screenshot of that here, but uh, that's pretty awesome to see people are getting results uh, every single week. So that's it, I'll see you in the next video.